Hi guys, so I just wanted to firstly say thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome. I've got another scroller box to open for today. This is February 2016. So I'm going to show you everything that's in there and then I'm going to try and draw something along the lines of the theme for this month's box. So let's get started. Okay, so let's open this up. Um, if I can. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Yay, TARDIS! Ah, brilliant. I love that. That looks really nice. So the artist, let's find out. I'm going to zoom in and let you read it so that I don't have to pronounce their name incorrectly. There we go. Pause the screen there and have a read. Okay, so I am already liking the theme of this box. If there's a TARDIS in it, that sounds good to me. Okay, so we've got a bit of paper here. It feels like watercolour paper or something. And, ooh, I'm guessing that this is a bit of a clue of what we've got inside. So let's open it up. Mm. Okay, so this is our theme. Time and space. Awesome. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I'm really uh, looking forward to this now. Although, if there's already a TARDIS picture, what on earth am I going to draw? Whenever I think time and space, I think TARDIS. But there's already one here. Can I draw a TARDIS and get away with it? I guess I could draw one different to that. Anyway, let's have a look through the rest of the supplies. First up, you got the little sticker. Okay. Love hearts, excellent, won't say no to that. Let's start with the pencils. This is an orange pencil, obviously. Uh, Koenor, oh, I'm not even gonna pronounce that. It's got a little water brush picture on it, so I'm assuming that it's some sort of water brush, uh, watercolor pencil. Where did I put that thing? Right, I'm gonna read this as I go. Okay, so this orange pencil is an aquarelle pencil. It is a watercolor pencil. And it comes in two colours. We've got the blue as well. So let me just give you a close-up of these two pencils. Okay, next up I've got a paintbrush here. Oh, it's a bit stiff. Oh, there we go. It is the, uh, it's the same brand as the pencils. I, I'm assuming it's pronounced Koenor. I have no idea, but that's what I'm saying. Flat brush size eight, so there we go. It looks like I'm gonna be doing some watercolors. Um, I guess I'll just start with this one. And uh, the Molotov Aqua Twin. Uh, I guess it's some kind of pen, and it's in 011. Okay, so we've got kind of a in between a brush nib and a bullet nib on one end and wait twist nope don't twist it that pulls it out <laughs> pull there we go chisel nib okay cool so that's in blue TARDIS blue I'd say and we've got another one here that is in 010 and another one in 12. So we've got 10, 11, 12. Um, the last thing that's in here is Molotov. Oh, wow, it's masking fluid in a marker. Wow, that's cool. Excellent. That is pretty handy. I guess if you, you can just sort of let that go in and I'm assuming it'll start flowing. Oh, there it is. Oh nice, okay so it comes out blue, so at least you can see where you've put it on the paper. And then if I let that dry and then colour over it and then rub it off, although probably not going to work on this paper. So I'm just going to go through this for you and just show you what there is. I'm just going to move these out of the way. So the Molotov Aqua Twin Refill Exchange Mix, that sounds good. Okay, so main features, they're water-based, uh, color intense ink, transparent, good UV resistance, odorless, 
uh, they've got food based colorants and they are approved for children. There's only 24 colors in the set. Uh, fiber rod system, one millimeter soft brush for precise and energetic strokes. <laughs> two to five, uh, sorry, two to six millimeter broad tip for more extensive gradients. They are refillable, they've got exchangeable tips and they are mixable. So I'm um, assuming that these are all the colors. So that's quite a large range of greys for only 24 in the set. So nice. And wow, okay. I'm not gonna read everything out. So if you wanna pause the video there, you can have a look through that. Um, that looks really interesting. I don't know what's going on there. And there's the colours. I'll let you pause that wherever you want. It's probably a little bit far away for you to read, but oh well, you'll just have to <laughs> buy some yourself. And there's the back. I guess that's the packs you get them in. Cool. Made in Germany. Cool. Alrighty, well I'm looking forward to playing with these. Let me just bring this back. You can see, oh, ugh, you can see that's kind of not really dried very well. It's kind of this one rolled over the top of it and it's gotten on the side of it there. But hey, it comes off really easy. So just testing this out. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I've just gone through the whole paper, so that's not gonna work. Anyway, I'm gonna draw something with this lot, and it is probably gonna be a TARDIS, so that doesn't matter. It's I'll try and draw something different to that. <laughs> That looks really good though. I like that. Cool, let's go. Okay, so I'm eating these. This one says totes hilaire. And that one says totes hilaire. Really? Is that what people are saying now? Totes hilaire? That is nuts. Let's see what's next. Uh Ulri Pit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, that's uh, the Northern English version. <laughs> Dream Girl, there we go. That's how I remember them. Dream Girl. Now I've got Love Heart dust all over my paper. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm not drawing a TARDIS, but I'm still drawing something Doctor Who themed. So I'm starting out with some stars and then I decided to put in the Gallifrey symbol in the middle. I'm using the, um, the masking fluid because I don't want this area to be coloured in so hopefully when I pull the masking fluid off it will be white but you'll see a little bit later on how that looks. Um, so yeah I'm just uh, colouring all this in it took me a while and the masking fluid kind of goes a little bit lumpy you can see there so it goes a bit lumpy which is a bit odd it, you just have to remove those lumps that's all it seemed to be fine the flow was okay, it could have gone on a little bit easier, but uh, I don't know, this is my first try at it. I don't actually think I've ever used masking fluid before, so yeah. So anyway, onto the markers, I just thought I'd put in large blocks of colour and then I went in with the water and I just, I just basically scribbled, <laughs> to be honest. I wasn't really trying to be very neat about it, I wanted it to sort of um, really sort of blend together. And you can see here I'm going back in again with the blue, but because there's water on the paper, the marker just sucked up the water and it just uh, it just wouldn't work. So you really have to wait until the paper's dry before you put on any more colour with those markers. Um, and at the bottom, I just decided to use the orange to do the Gallifrey landscape. Um, and then, yeah, I couldn't resist. I had to put in a TARDIS there somewhere. Um, so yeah, this is me taking off the masking fluid. Um, it kind of ripped at the paper a little bit and the fibres of the paper, it just sort of lifted them and prevented it from having a really clean edge. And you can see there, I'm trying to peel it off, but the thinner you put on the masking fluid, the harder it is to kind of pull off. So I'm just using an eraser to, to take it off. And you can see on some parts of the Gallifrey symbol that it just hasn't kept out the water and the marker colour very well but I don't mind it gives it kind of like a tie-dye effect <laughs> I guess I just need to practice a lot more um, likewise with the 
uh, markers and the water. I just think I need to practice a little bit more with uh, distributing in colour. And um, there we go, so there's the first picture. I decided to do a second one because I really enjoyed making that galaxy sort of landscape. Well, not landscape really. <laughs> galaxy scape with those colours. And with this one I started with the black permanent marker at the top and then I realised, hang on, that's actually not going to blend with watercolours. So yeah, stop that. <laughs> And you can see there I put on too much water and then it just sort of smudged everything out. So I've gone over this one for a second time with the colours. And I had to wait for it to dry in between each time. And then I think I went over it three times. I probably could have gone over it a few more times, but I just decided to leave it at that. And this is obviously the crack in the wall. If you don't know Doctor Who, then you won't know this reference. But um, yeah, that was good fun. So yeah, I really enjoyed the, uh, using the supplies and I'm looking forward to what, see what Scholar Box comes up with next month. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!